Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris, aka okay, the IT guy, and I'm very happy to see you on my YouTube channel. And if you are here for the first time, we do tutorial videos about programming, about uh, installation of some things. And in the, today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Git in Ubuntu Linux. The steps are very clear, and I will try to explain each and everything that I'm going to do on here. And I want you to follow me so as to have the better results that we will really have in the end and we'll be able to have our git on our system and if you don't know what git is uh, git is the version control manager uh, where you can use it to manage on uh, the commits or the change that you made on your project instead of uh, having to save the version 1 version 2 project but instead you can use the git to track all the changes that you did on your project without further ado let's go ahead and see how we can install this uh, version control manager okay so i'm going to uh, go ahead and open my terminal on here i will have to open my terminal and i will have to check i will have to change directory to the home directory like this one and the first thing that i'm going to do here is to check for the uh, system version to do that i will have to type rsb underscore ladies and i will put a and this case to show me that i'm using ubuntu 21.04 and uh, the instruction that we're going to do will really work on this version and i think on the upper versions or below versions to work the same and i'm going to uh, to change from this mod to the root mod to do that i will have to type sudo and i will have to type ace and it will ask me for the password i'm going to put my password that i'm not going to tell you and as you can see now it is changed from this one to the loot and in this case you can go ahead and perform our instruction in this and before we proceed you have to change to the loot folder too i will have to uh, to type cd and i will choose loot and once i'm in here i'm ready now to install our git to install git i will i will, I will use i will use the command the command is called apt install git or you can use apt get uh, get install git it depends on the version of ubuntu you are using but i prefer to use apt get like this one because it work on the upper versions uh, the current version that are go, uh, that are being released they support this and i will have to type git and let's see apt install apt install git right like this one and then we have to wait until it, it read all this and after reading the package list it will start to install the packages and they will have to speed up uh, so as to save time i will come back when it will be completed and once it asks you for uh, accepting yes or no we'll have to accept uh, uh, by typing yes or why and press enter and it will have to download this one and we'll have to speed up so as to save some time all right core and once the instruction is complete you can go ahead and check the version that you installed and you can type git hyphen hyphen version uh, to see the version that you installed in this case i installed this 2.30.2 version the version is may vary but the time of making this video this is now the current version that gets installed when you try to use the same method that i'm using and the other processes that are required to have the git run successfully we have to use the configuration to set up the username and the email of the one who will use this git if he or she made some commits so as to be able to track him or her i will have to configure this one and to do that i will have to type git and I will have to of course to do in the configuration mode and I will have to type global and I will have to to, to type user.name for example user.name and what I'm going to provide here I'm going to provide for example Hano Media as the name uh, let me see where I messed up because I'm saying some uh, git I, I forgot to you to put config here uh, git config all right and once you place enter it will show you nothing but it will be saved it will see how to check if this name now is saved and you can do the same for the email in this case let me change and put some email here and the email I'm going to provide for example let me add at gmail.com 
and once you are done uh, you can go ahead and create the terminal so as to have a clean workspace to do that if you're not familiar with linux you can uh, can place control r and you can you can use the two methods to check the, the the names for example i can use git and config uh config like this one and i put list and it will show me the user.name as hano media and the user.email as hano media i can use another method uh, by opening some text editor for example vi and i can put this um this symbol tilde and i will put this dot and git config the way i added this dot is that be is is because the git dot the the git config folder is a hidden folder that's why we need to specify this dot and once you press enter you can see the name as a hand media and the email as hand media all right so we can go ahead and close our terminal and and there will be some time when you will need to use the git inside the vs code or visual studio code and i'm going to show you how to do this one i'm going to go ahead and open my visual studio code i have it installed uh, if you don't have installed you, have, you can go ahead and follow uh, some uh, guidance on how to install the visual studio code and once you have the visual studio code open they can go ahead and create one folder to test or to make it contain our project in this case let me minimize this one and i'm going to create one folder for example let me create this one folder and i'm going to call this uh for example let me call this uh my projects my my projects all right and after doing this i'm going to go ahead and press ok and once our folder is created i'm going to drag and drop on our vs code and i'm going to drag this folder inside all right and once it is in here let me name maximize again ah uh, yes i trust the authors mm -hmm. and once we are in here you can go ahead and create one file uh, so let me try to create one file for example let me call this hello.py as a python file and i can go ahead and write some some codes in here some python codes so for example let me say uh, names uh, equal to uh, chris and i'm going to go ahead and print uh, names for example simple and once you save this file and you you want to to initialize this folder in git you can go ahead and uh, press ctrl j to bring the git uh, to bring this um this window on here and as you are seeing we are on desktop in my project and when you type for example git status uh, it will show you that this is not a uh, the git repository and to do that i will to initialize and to initialize this folder as a git folder i will go ahead and uh, use git in it and in this case to try to initialize all this and they will be managed uh, uh, with git and if i do git status again you can see that now it was able to recognize our file and you can see that there is now uh, there is no no commit yet if you want to add this file i can go ahead and if uh, for example use git add and i will type hero uh, dot py and once i add this and when i type git status again you can see now it is no longer in the red color and if i want to commit i can use git commit and i can uh, for example add some message uh, and i can say for example uh, made uh, one uh, hello dot uh, py file all right and press enter in this case to ask me to do this uh, let me do it again and copy and paste and for example let me write uh, hano media at gmail.com all right and let's do the same for the username all right copy paste and i will put for example let me put uh that this commit is going to be made by uh, chris all right and once i'm done i can go ahead and use the commit again 
all right and once i use git status again you can see that uh, there is nothing to commit or working are uh, green or working tree are green and when i try to for example type git log i'll be able to see now the commit that i did and the comments that i added so as to be able to identify this commit that is actually how the git works i was uh, showcasing on how to use inside the vs code i hope you guys will find this very helpful and interesting let me know if you met with any problem in the comments and i hope you guys will find this video very useful and interesting like i was saying if you did like it go ahead and press the like button and if you are coming on this channel for the first time and you are not subscribed make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get the notification on the other videos that i will be making King. and like always be cool and be creative i will see you guys in the next one peace